<laughs> all right, welcome to class, everyone. Obviously, you're all here because you excel in your normal classwork, and most of you prefer to take some of the harder classes. So, I want you to take the time to fill out this quick survey so I can learn a little bit more about you and understand exactly what makes you tick. Why do I care about good grades? For college. For life. For life. For life. <laughs> That's an interesting question. Why do you do that? Because my parents make me care So you can get to a good college and then get a good job. Yeah. I actually want to get to a good school and I care about my future and I want to be successful in life. It's supposed to help me, you know, in the future, get to college, that kind of thing. Yeah, college is pretty good. Yeah, I, I, I go to college. It's always been stressed to get good grades ever since we were little. So I kind of think that it's always been a goal to get good grades. Good grades are important to me because they're important to everyone else. Hmm. What has been my most difficult class? My most difficult class was probably chemistry last year because chemistry just was a whole new world to me. We AP Spanish because Miss Delaware really pushed, pushes us. I would say AP chemistry. I, I took honors chemistry and that was pretty tough. Freak out. Freak out. <laughs> I think one of us was in agreement that trigonometry was pretty hard. Yeah. 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 AP U.S. history with Mr. Dodge. AP European history. Definitely AP European history. Yeah. We took it in sophomore year and it was definitely like the most challenging because of all the work and it was like our first AP course. I actually do better in the AP classes than when I took normal classes in ninth grade because I was yeah. in chapter. One of the things that they get, not only the college credit perhaps, but also the skills and the habits uh, that they will need at the next level, at the college level. So it's not just a course, but it's more of an experience where you're, you're not only getting the skills you need, but you may end up earning college credit along the way. Because we learn a lot about just like classes in general and how to like study and yeah. I mean I definitely know like this year and my junior year I took really great notes just because classes you like, they don't seem as hard because you're more willing to do the work. So like the AP Psych and AP English, it's a lot of work, but you like those classes. Oh, so difficult. That and Ken. My little sister would come early from school. She and Who was my most difficult teacher? teacher in all my four years here was probably Miss Griffiths because she had a different style of teaching than I was used to. My toughest teacher was still Mr. DeAngelis because he was one of the teachers that actually made me work and actually he said he had this group that spoon feeding only taught the shape of a spoon and saw that. Yeah. For me, Ms. Morefield, this is a lot for me. I always thought Miss Hare was pretty tough for, for oh, AP yeah. Yeah. Miss Hare is a lot of fun. Yeah, Miss Hare. What do you beat? I don't know. <laughs> What do you think your good grades and great work ethic will help you accomplish after high school? I'll get me grounded. Good college. Yeah, good yeah, college. College. Right, getting into the college I want. They actually, they did. I'm a better person. I think it'll be a good transition because you have something better to build on when you go in the real world. It gives you a leg up. Well, I mean, in high school, I had to work really hard for this grade, so when I get outside of high school, I think the hard work, just won't give up, have some confidence, and just keep on working through it, just be successful. Hopefully, they give you And the job, exactly, the career. Well, I want to study computers personally, so I'm doing biomedical engineering. Um, exercise science. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's kind of like, I mean, I like so many different things. It's not just I can stick to one thing. All right, when you're finished, pass them on up. I'm going to hold on to them for the year. At the end of the year, I'm going to ask you one final question. What is it that you've learned in the four years of your C. Milton Wright experience? That you have to strive for I would definitely have to say time management, because just the whole schedule, especially switching schedules. P equals MC squared. Oh, P. I don't even think we're doing that. Stress less. I have to say to be true to yourself. If you 
really try, you can do what you want. I would say you'd always have to be happy. You really just need to study. You can't slack off in any of your classes because you can fall behind and ultimately it just hurts you in the end. <laughs> Alright, so any last thing you want to add about grades, academics, school? Um, I mean, it, obviously, you know, we are an academic institution and we want to re reward excellence for people that really try hard to achieve the academic goals we have for the school. So anything we can do uh, to that end to recognize them, uh, I feel is a very good thing to do. Um, everyone likes to have a little recognition once in a while. Hey Kovac, what's up? How you doing? Yeah. It's very nice. Mr. Kovac, see you. Uh, just see you guys later. Yeah. <laughs>